In this video, we're gonna be talking about speed ramping and I'm gonna show you on three examples uh, why you should use it and how to edit it in DaVinci Resolve. Hey everyone, my name is Mariusz Gajdzik, I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Poland and together with my girlfriend Martina we run a company called Slick Visuals where we produce photo and video content for our clients. So we're gonna start with speeding up the clip we have here and let me just play it to you so you can see how this looks right now. And I want to speed up the middle of it so it's it has a really nice speed ramp and that clip is already uh, in a slow motion so I want to speed it up uh, so it looks nicer. I'm gonna click command R to get into the speed change uh, mode or you can right click on your mouse and go to retime control but I like the command R because I like the keyboard shortcut much better because that's quicker way to use it so I'll use it this way uh, and now we're gonna get to the point of the clip we want to speed up I like this uh, this part over here and we're gonna click on the arrow over here and we're gonna add a speed point and now we're gonna go to another part where it stops and we're gonna do the same and add another speed point. So now we have that uh, selected over here and we can just grab this point over here and we can slide it towards here. And I wanna speed it up quite a bit so uh, I'm gonna drag it so it's this small. And now I'm gonna uh, play it for you to show you how that looks. And it doesn't look really smooth, so I'm gonna now smooth it out so it's nice speed ramp. Because at the moment, it's not a ramp, it's just speeding up the footage at the moment. So let's do that speed ramp right now. So we're gonna right click on this clip and we're gonna do retime curve. And we're gonna get rid of the audio from here so we, because we don't need it. And now uh, we're gonna click on that arrow over here and we're gonna uncheck the retime frame and we're gonna check the retime speed because we don't need the retime frame we're gonna need the retime speed and now uh, it doesn't show the points to us over here because we have this very hundred percent over here and we speed up much more so we're gonna drag it over uh, so we can see that and we're gonna check that clip over here and press over here and now we have this little ramp over here, as you can see, and we can drag it a little bit more over here so it's smoother ramp. And we're gonna do exactly the same to this clip over here. So it's much smoother. I'm just gonna zoom it in a little bit so you can see it better. And I think I zoomed in this one too much. I ramped this one too much. So I'm gonna ramp this one a little bit more too. And now, if I play it back for you, you can see that ramp is much, much nicer. Uh, I think that I speed it up a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna drag it over here and make it less speedy. And let's see how that looks. Yes, that looks really nice. Uh, so this is how you do a speed up ramp. A bonus tip over here is if you already have that retime speed open and you wanna add another point, you can uh, press option on your keyboard and add a point 
by clicking on it on the read time speed line so if you want to get rid of it you can just delete it with the delete button uh, so that's a bonus tip when it comes to that so this is how the ramp looks right now okay so next thing we're gonna do is to slow down the footage from regular uh, speed to slow motion and I have 100 frames per second clip here but it's playing in a real time so uh, I want to slow it down at some point so once again we're gonna press command R uh, we get the speed change uh, mode right now and I like to slow it down so I'm gonna make a point add point and I'm gonna add another point over here and I'm gonna slow it down to 25% because it's a slow-mo clip and you can see that's in a slow-mo uh, so now I'm gonna play it for you all together and you can see that the change of the speed is very sudden so we want to smooth it out and so we're gonna go to retime curve once again we're gonna change from retime frame to retime speed we're gonna go to this point over here and we're gonna smooth it out and I'm probably not gonna make it even more smooth because it's not much of a difference but now I'm gonna play it back for you when it's smoothed out and that looks much, much nicer. I prefer that a lot. Uh, so this is how you smooth out the ramp from the real-time speed to slow motion. And that looks pretty nice because it's really, really nice and slow uh, change between one to another one. So this is how it looks when you slow it down with the speed ramping. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is the speed ramp transitions. And I have some clips over here, which I'm gonna play to you now. And they swipe in the same direction. Uh, so we, when you speed it up, it's gonna look quite nice. It doesn't look really nice right now because it's not edited properly yet, but we're gonna edit that right now. So let me start with the first clip, uh, Command R. Actually, I'm gonna do that for all those clips right now. And what we're gonna do is, uh, we already have the speed we want, so we're just gonna go to the point where we have that swipe to the side, and we're gonna add the point over here there, and we're gonna grab that clip from here, and we're gonna speed it up to, like I said, 200%. 200% should be nice, and we're gonna do a ramp on it as well. Once again, we're gonna go to retime curve uh, and we're gonna select the retime speed. And then we're gonna do a ramp over here and I think that ramp should be nice. So now we're gonna get to that clip and we're gonna get to a point where it stops and we wanna select that clip and we wanna add a point over there and we wanna make it probably 200% too so it matches the speed of the other clip. And now we're gonna swipe them together and we're gonna see how that looks. It looks pretty good already, but there is no change of speed. I think I'm gonna slow it down as well to 50%, so it's a bit more of a difference and we're gonna do a retime speed again and we're gonna do that ramp over there so now let me play it back to you and I think we can speed it up a little bit more so it's a little bit quicker yeah that looks pretty good uh, so now we're gonna get to a point where we have another swipe in the footage which is over here and we're gonna add another point and we're gonna change the speed to make it much quicker uh, like this and we have that swipe over here and we're gonna bring that clip over here and already I'm gonna make a ramp over here so we can do it much quicker than we did before and we're gonna get to that clip over here actually something got messed up over here I think I moved that clip before oh, there we go uh, so we're gonna bring that clip over here and we're gonna stop it right here at the speed point 
you're gonna swipe that clip like this with these arrows to make it much quicker and once again we're gonna get to retime curve retime speed not retime time and we're gonna select that over here so now we should have this uh, looking nice I think this clip is a little bit slow so I'm gonna change that speed to 100 and I'm gonna bring that one back and now this is how it looks with the transitions with the speed ramps it looks pretty good for me so this is the method of how to use the speed ramping in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I hope you've learned on how to use it. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I was trying to explain it a couple of times so you can understand the methods of how to do it. So hopefully it was helpful. I gave you three examples of how to use it within your videos. But if you have any other ideas how to use speed ramps, let me know in the comments. And I think you should use it because it's a very good tool but make sure it makes your video better it tells your story better and don't overdo it don't do all your videos like this all the time uh, just make sure you're using it for good reasons and not all the time without a reason some people just uh, you know you learn your new effect and you want to use it all the time but you shouldn't be doing that like there was a time with the zoom transitions or swipe transitions where everybody was using that for every transitions in their film and it shouldn't be used this way because otherwise you're gonna make your video worse instead of making it better with using these effects you need to know when to use it and don't use it all the time so hopefully that tutorial was helpful for you uh, if you liked it leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell that's really helpful for spreading my content around and motivation to make more of it and also if you want to check out my instagram i would be very grateful because i post there daily i try to post photos videos reels and that kind of stuff so you can keep up with me there much more often and you can ask questions directly there in dms so please go ahead and check out my Instagram. And I think this is it for this video. So I hope you liked it and I hope I'll see you in the next one, bye.